Hi YouTube, this is Calandra. Thanks you to my subscribers. Thanks to all of my Facebook friends who have been following me and watching my videos. I hope you guys are having a great Black History Month. Um, please let's not complain that it's only 28 days. Our Black History is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let's use February to jumpstart our 365 celebration of Black History. Um, I also wanted to announce that I finally named my YouTube channel. It's called This and That with Calandra. I also have a blog now, also called This and That with Calandra. It's This and That with Calandra dot blogspot dot com, and I'll have a link in the sidebar. So please uh, follow me on Blogspot, and I've got a couple of posts already. So please go over there and check it out. Tonight I wanted to do something fun and talk a little bit about some children's programming. Um, our children are three years old and 22 months. They don't watch a lot of television, but what TV they do watch we monitor pretty closely. So I wanted to give you Izzy's two picks for his two favorite TV shows. So if you're an aunt, an uncle, a mother, a father, a grandparent, a godparent, you need to get in touch with these TV shows. Our children watch uh, PBS Kids, they watch Sprout, they watch Nick Jr. That's pretty much it. The only television that they watch outside of that is uh, periodically they'll watch the news with us or they will watch Good Times. <laughs> That's educational programming. <laughs> In fact, one day I need to upload a video of our son singing the theme to Good Times. It's hysterical. But I digress. These are Izzy's picks, and I verified this with him on the way home tonight, that these are his two favorite television shows. So one of his favorite shows is called Word World. Word World is a PBS show, and all the characters in Word World are physically shaped by the letters that spell their word. So the pig, the shape of the body of the pig is actually formed by the letters P, I, and G. So it's really great that they can identify the letters, the words, with the um, anim an the animated objects as well as the you know the little characters and the animals. It has great storylines. Um, at the climax of every show, they actually build a word, so you get to do the phonics and everything. It's very cool. His absolute favorite show is called Super Y. Super Y is a PBS Kids television show. Wyatt aka Super Y, is a little boy who's very intelligent and loves to read. And he and his friends are superheroes. And when they have to solve a problem, they jump into a book, they read the story, um, they have different exercises where they uh, read different, uh, they change the words, it's reading comprehension, to change the meaning of the story. And whatever plot there is in the story, that usually helps them solve whatever problem um, they have so there's actually a lot going on in that show. It took me a few times before I really understood the the premise of it, but it's very good. Izzy loves Super Y. If he could be Super Y for a day, I think he would just be head over heels. Super Y, PBS, love, love, love the show. Very educational, very entertaining. They also get to know different literary styles, different books and so forth. The third one is actually one of our picks um, that we know that our, both of our children like, but I like it uh, because it's a little different than most of the other television programs. It's called Nihao Kailan. Kailan is a young Chinese girl who lives with her grandfather and has uh, little friends. And the thing I like about this show is it's educational in the sense that it helps children to get in touch with their conscience and to understand their emotions and how to be sensitive to others. And they get to learn Chinese. That's an added bonus. Also very rare in television right now. Um, but I love Nihao Kailan because it really talks about feelings. And, and I know that Izzy, our three-year-old, really catches it. He really gets it. Um, one of his favorite episodes and one of my favorite episodes, when Kailan and her friends were having a sleepover, one of her friends had a little panda bear, little um, stuffed animal, that he would not let anybody play with. And he ran away and, you know, didn't want to talk to them. And they were trying to understand why is he so upset. So they kind of put the pieces together and then they talked to him and they found out that he didn't want to share Pandy, his little panda bear. He was so cute. Because he was afraid that he would never get him back, that they would take it. And our son really got that because he was able to make that connection, you know, for a while. So he was quoting that episode for a long, long time. 
that is a great show. And plus, uh, both of our children are actually learning uh, a few words in Chinese, which is very cool. Lastly, but not least, is actually my favorite children's television program. And I think it's my husband's favorite as well. And I know that our kids absolutely love this show. 8 o'clock, Monday through Friday, we are sitting down at Nick Jr. watching The Backyard Again. If you are a parent, an aunt, uncle, godparent, grandparent, you need to watch The Backyard Again. This is the coolest show for kids on TV. The Backyard Again are five little animals that live in the same neighborhood. And every day when they play, they go out in their backyard and their backyard turns into their adventure. It has great graphics. It has great music. It has great dancing, a great storyline. It is just, I enjoy it. We watch it sometimes when the kids aren't even home. Just don't tell anybody. Um, what I really love the most about Backyard Again, other than the graphics, is the fact that every episode, regardless as to what the nature of the plot is, has a different musical theme. So all the music in one episode might be rockabilly. One episode, all the music, all the songs are swing. And the thing is, it's such a wide variety of music. So they do rockabilly, reggae, um, Brazilian, bossa nova, um, zydeco. <laughs> that was one of Izzy's favorites, the songs that he picked up. We also have two of their CDs. They have a lot of music CDs. They stay in our car. We know the songs by heart. The kids know the songs by heart. It is really a fun, fun show. So I advise you to get with the Backyard again. They are on point. So this is just a fun little review. I have not been asked to review these. Uh, I do not work for any of these companies. They did not give me anything for this. That's my little FTC disclaimer. Um, but I just wanted to share something fun with you all. So if you're a parent, if you're a grandparent, godparent, you need to get in touch with these shows, y'all. You need to watch them, watch them with your children, and just have a great time. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, give me your suggestions, your feedback. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you for watching. See you next time.